What's up, Taku fam? We are the Taku Couple back more reactions here for the channel with some more. I'm Kevin. We started reacting to his videos last week, and the consensus in that comment section was, do more. Just, just do more. <laughs> That's about how it went with Codename Super. So yeah, we're just going to keep doing more. This is the most recent one as of the time of this recording. Fog Hill of the Five Elements is straight hands. Listen, we discussed this. If it's got the good swabbles, we're here for it. Thank you guys for the continued support. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Every little bit helps. Check out our Patreon link down below for full uncut reactions to TV shows, animes, and movies. There's going to be a lot of changes of shows over on the Patreon in the next coming weeks because everything is ending, which means we got to change up everything. Yu Haka Show, Shikamori is not just a cutie. That's the new one. I know, but by this time, that's already been playing. Oh, yeah. That's going to be done soon, too. I know. There's not a lot of episodes. I'm just Everything just keeps changing, guys. It's crazy. Let's hop on in. This is a longer Some one. Some crazy fights y'all was online. And listen, I'm not even exaggerating. This show might have the best fights in animation history. No glaze. But go ahead and grab your snacks. It's going to be a longer one. I'm here right, for it. So we like Let's 10 go. seconds in and they already trying to box. This thing comes out the portal, walks down to MC. He made sure he had enough aura to not do damage, but enough for everyone to notice his hair routine. Now, I kid you not, the MC literally said, I'm here to take your shit. See, now I'm confused. If you said something like, I'm here to take back what's mine, that would have made more sense. What could you possibly want that requires summoning a demon just to rob him? <laughs> Anyway, the MC wanted minimum talking. He trying to put on for the Fire Nation. Ran off trying to gain some speed. Came back around. <laughs> that was not like us playing. <laughs> mm, <what's your> <laughs> Blocked the hit. Went for a tail whip. He barely Ooh. dodged it. Bro turned into the human torch, but that's an easy triple parry. He said, man, if you don't sit your dumb ass down. But that's when a homeboy clicked R1 and activated Ooh. his special Ooh. skill. Ooh. Like, I know he's the main character, but the moment he pulled a Vegeta, the arm grab, I knew he wasn't winning. But he took what I said personally and just ran with it. Nigga done went Super Saiyan. Reinforced his broken arm and went in for round two. He headbutt the tree, grabbed it, <laughs> tossed that hoe at mock speeds. <laughs> But bro made light work of that shit and then clashed. At least that's what I thought was going to happen. That MC power-up was a scam. It did not do what was advertised. The M he product. played for Super Saiyan, but really got one for all. He was oh, immediately no. getting punished. And then these random icebergs spawned in, but turns out it was someone else who pulled up to help. Then two more pulled up, so I'm thinking they're going to jump. But right as he broke out, another person pulled up. See, now this dude moving like Drake, he got the whole world against him. I'm thinking the jumping's going to be monumental. But then they let these two go back to running the ones. Fatal mistake, but I let it slide this one time. <laughs> then this man turns into time. a literal dragon. They clash energy, but then it fades to white. We come back and see dude laid out. Not only did he beat your ass, but now he got your homies. Yo, my Damn. question is, where's the other three people we just seen? They just sitting back watching bro get his ass beat. Aren't y'all on the same side? Cause Ice Dude finally steps in cause he sees his sister getting took. Then he shoots some Ice Beam, but this motherfucker one hands that shit and then shoots back a damn Gallic gun. And before leaving, he was like, yo, Fireboy, you did this to yourself. You opened the seal, now my son's missing. Bring back my son and I'll return your loved ones. And we're just gonna skim over this real quick. Just know that this girl probably has some type of importance to the plot. She was doing an errand for her pops when she ran into these three people who will be more important later. But then she ended up getting lost, but that's when she ran into the MC who happens to know exactly who she's looking for. Then she got whatever she needed and now they headed back to camp. But when they got there, the same three people from earlier pulled up and already caught two bodies and was trying to catch a third. But Unc wasn't gonna let that happen told that boy to square up he was holding him back for a sec but ended up getting a face full of boot that boy dashed in on <laughs> a face full of boot flips the blade and caught Damn. him right on the shoulder now i truly don't know what unk was doing right here but the end result was another boot to the face but he kicked his own weapons back and as a second one was coming through unk number two pulled up now as you can see dude is holding a staff i have very mixed opinions on staff users because it's either you're very good or you're very ass there's no in between he leaps in closing the gap. He blocks the double. That's why I just watch Fate. Because Lancers are always some of the best characters in any Fate series. I love that this is done by that um, studio that we've been watching. Link, link. Yep. Link, click. Yep. Link, click. That show is also ending after this week, so. 
Full hit and the overhead. Unk had back. to get a little saucy on him for a sec, but went for the that stab. Shout out Sekiro, just a Makiri counter his shit. And I guess Unk enchanted his staff mid box, but look at the footwork. Yo, Unk, don't let this man moonwalk on you like that, bro. He stops the staff, but <laughs> Unk uses that momentum against him and sliced his ass. Oh! Yo, Unk, I'm sorry for ever doubting you. You're indeed a good staff user. So good, in <laughs> fact, that these niggas trying to jump. They both ran in, threw the daggers, that's an easy block, but the speed blitz is just too strong. Ooh. But he ain't going out like that. He's got to let him know who the best unk is. Go ahead and get saucy on him, unk. <laughs> he did block, but look, okay, now this may be this show one of crazy. the smartest staff users of all time. The Not second water. guy thought it was free east, but unk pulls out a knife from inside the Bro. staff. Weave. Bro, that would have been a legendary play if this dude ain't have a titanium cranium. I don't <laughs> care if <laughs> Unk lost. He put the entire staff nation on his back. Then dude on the gate was like, yo, Unk, get out the way. And then immediately shot. Gave him no time to actually move. You hurt Unk more than the guy you was trying to shoot. And they end up deflecting you anyway. You just hold yourself. And I was low-key upset because I thought they was going to murk Unk. But the main character finally pulled up. And he definitely performed. Did some type of spin kick and broke one's neck while he was Ooh. choking the other one out. Turns out they were birds this whole time, I guess. But what does that mean to him? Just another body needed to be caught. <laughs> And from this point forward, I'm just going to call this man Zuko. Anyways, we all know the boss always waits in the back. And Zuko was itching for a real fight. They both dashed in. Bird predicts the fire, so he shoots <laughs> off the bridge. Zuko jumps through the flame, trying to hit him with a drop kick. Bird blocks it, but then he shoots up the water, using it as a distraction so he can hit him with a shockwave. And then he stares at the camera. He know that shit was cold. But yeah, look at Zuko. Music. Not a single scuff on the fit. The bird dashes in. Block. Double weave. Ooh. Devastating counter. That nigga looking the wrong way. Zuko <laughs> hit him with a spin move. And look, he getting mad trying to crease the Jays. Zuko lands on his feet, but that back dash vicious. Weaves like 30 attacks right here, but now they're in the air. And look at the handle. Zuko got this man in a blender. His ankles taking critical damage. <laughs> he lands in the water. Bird comes through, but that's an easy block. Took his wings back, did a spin for no reason, then hit him with another shockwave. Your body skipping on water is crazy work. The bird spins back, locks eyes, and at first I thought he was piecing ooh, dude up, ooh, but this ooh, nigga ooh. is blocking and dodging everything. Then Zuko proceeds to send that man across the map, dives underwater to chase him down. He said the combo's not dropping. Uppercut him out of there, spinning right kick to the jaw, and comes back down with the open palm to the neck. Ooh. Bird tries that shockwave shit again, but that ain't gonna work. Breaks through with another open palm straight to the jaw. Ooh. Destroyed the stomach, broke the sternum, obliterated the neck, Ooh. spun back on the stomach for the Bro, one time. Bro, what the combo? This shit crazy, then grabs the face and slams him like four times before <laughs> clocking his shit. But he's not done. He boosts himself forward and connected with a crazy punch. And look at the angle. Bro. What is this? That looked like a killing blow, but... We gonna have to watch this. This nah. Fog killed the five elements. This might be what replaces Link Click next week on the oh, rip for the Patreon, bro. I'm. I, we got to find where we can watch this. He this is somehow crazy. flew off. The mix was too strong. He couldn't handle it. And then it cuts to the village when the chief was talking about some. I know many of us are gravely injured, but we must fight quick. No. We shall kill that monster. No, he ain't. <laughs> Not the death. <laughs> Pick it up. <laughs> Can you repeat that one more time for me? Go ahead, <laughs> say it. You said you're gonna kill who now? He trying to act all hard like Zuko not finna spin the block. Foot on neck, can't breathe. He somehow shot another shockwave, but Zuko was on that. Then he got a lucky hit off because he couldn't handle the one on. That shit was weak. But now's the time for the bird to transform. Anyone who looked into his open wings got turned into some kind of monster. Then he was getting high off their life force or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> I just know Zuko has to heal himself while Birdman smokes on even more people. Damn. And he finally transformed and he is now some type of human bird hybrid. And then he flies off to look for something, but Zuko finally goes Super Saiyan. And this dude really got a half shysty just to show off the scar. 
he zooms off, catches up with him with the people's elbow to the spine. Hey, the man, people's dash elbow. off again. Gonna try to hit him with the fire fist, but that's a dodge. Zuko backflips over the wing stab, and now we gonna get personal. He gonna move his hand out of the way and karate chop the other. Went for a mean elbow, but blocked with the wings. Zuko dodges the wings again, Ooh. blocks the follow-up, blocks the overhead, goes for a ball shot, but it gets rejected. Roundhouse, that's another block. Birdman weaves both kicks, but wasn't ready for the next two. Birdman got a new skill unlocked, though. Shooting projectiles, but they all get him blocked. Ooh, That's mm. a permanent debt in the stomach. He's now forever sponsored by his kneecap. But he ain't <laughs> done though. You thought the Broly face grab was bad? Oh, Birdman no. is dragging this nigga across the long ass wall with his kneecap. Bro. This shit is ridiculous. Zuko Bro. brings his posture back. Birdman got another skill. This dude really be going into his skill tree mid box and just unlock shit. Uses the force to pick him back up and oh, ping that's... pong. Oh, no. Nah, nah. the right peg for the final hit and sent him flying up the stairs. He flies into the air thinking it was over, but he was terribly mistaken. I guess he hit Super Saiyan 2, but the most disrespectful thing he's done was breaking this man's shysty. Leaps oh, into no. the air, grabs both arms, drags him in, kicked him into the wall, but he's not done. He parkours through the rubble, grabs a rock, charges that motherfucker up, and slaps him. But Ooh. Birdman has had enough. They was playing tag for a little second till he grabs his face and this time truly hit him with the Broly. Then tossed him to the other side, shoots projectiles before flying headfirst through the mountain. Ooh. Birdman then creates a giant thing, I don't even know what to call that. And Zuko just flies headfirst into that shit. Now's your chance, Gohan. <laughs> Eat that horn. <laughs> Bro, this is crazy. And I'm kind of glad that I mean, we're going to watch this show now. I don't know when. It's going to be reacted to over on the Patreon. I'm telling you that right now. But I'm glad we're kind of watching this first because he's breaking down the choreography for the fight. So we don't have to be like, what the hell just happened when we watch it? We'll, we'll know yeah. going into it now and can just truly enjoy the squabbles. <laughs> Zuko is about to get body, but he remembered he's the main character. He rips through the beam, flies in, connected with a punch straight to the heart, and started comboing this man with his aura, and finished it off with a spin kick to the dome. And as Birdman was on his last breath, he sneaks a piece of himself somewhere that's gonna come back later, I guess. But then the chief comes up talking about some, no, don't go in there. And obviously, if you came all this way just to say that, now we gonna have to go in there. So Zuko goes in and sees that the demon baby from the start was in there getting tortured. Aww. So he grabs the baby and goes off forever. And now let's skim over this part real quick. Three years ago, the village was in a plague, but the demon baby scale happened to fall into the water and turns out it can heal any disease, which is the reason why they captured it. The Ginyu force also pulls up, who was obviously oh, going to no. try and get the demon baby back. And that piece of wing Birdman snuck off was used to relay the whereabouts of the demon baby. So now these niggas are about to spin. So now we fast forward to one of the Ginyu members who I'm going to just call Mei, who was traveling with the girl from earlier. When all of a sudden they get ran upon, Shorty was trying to shoot, but her gun jammed. Luckily, May came in and blocked the hit, sliced Eugene. Homeboy thought he did something with that dodge, but still got a Tim to the gut. <laughs> Weave, backdash, stabbed the claw, fuck out the way. Stabbed the right titty, but the left titty ain't safe either. Stabbed him two more times, ooh, kicked him back, ooh. let him keep the knife. Threw the bow down, we get him personal. Kicked the knife through. <sighs> this dumbass gonna hit the knife back, but all that did was give her her weapon again. Right. Slides back, grabs the bow, pops him in the neck, and look at this form. Low to the ground, that kick finna be fully charged. <laughs> look at him, he don't even know what to do. He just gotta <laughs> accept it. And while the bow was still on the neck, she loaded Oh, that that's shot. cold. Nah, that is cold. Out. But to no one's surprise, <laughs> that was a little too easy for a debut match. I don't even know what I'm looking at, but this dude just wants straight smoke. Low key may might be one of my favorite characters because look, she throws the bow up before he attacks. Slip. Look at the pose. Just to <laughs> dab the sauce and peep how the bow turns Bro. to a melee weapon. So he blocks the first hit, use the other hand, get off me. She blocks the thrust, then he blocks the stab with the fabrics, throw the fan over the shoulder, but may is 10 toes. He leaps up, nah, kicks this choreography is fucking crazy. I want to know how long it took for them to animate that shit. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, just the... 
like we we've seen like the nice breakdowns of like we'll say like mainstream battle shonen anime like Naruto and stuff like that and some of that shit especially in the later parts of the series do go crazy but this is like next level choreography like are you shitting me mm -hmm. the, like the near perfect precision dodges are crazy I don't, like how do you actually break that down that's got to take you like 5 years per fight <laughs> back she the flexor but she ain't know was a boomerang caught it and blocked both hits weave Deflects it and they clash. I thought you finally got a break, but nah, his fans has built in kunai. Ooh. But May couldn't care less about no fair one. She turned the old girl and was like, all right, let's jump him. Hits us <laughs> with the unnecessary roll. Shot three times, but your power level ain't high enough. Then May slide cancel shooting the bow Bro. with a foot, cause why not? He dodges it, but then immediately gets shot with a barrage of arrows. And I don't know why he's looking over there. Did you forget who the real threat is? Right. He puts now that should have been a fatal blow but i guess he bit it but it turns out he's an electric type and we know water and electricity don't mix he flew down got up close and personal but that's when zuko came through with a knuckle sandwich <laughs> he wasn't gonna let that slide though he runs in but look at the block no oh, stance nah. no nothing one arm was all that was needed he said let me lock in though back off me slip he air ball but it's cool block the hit karate chopped the arm down spin move the flex the cool night with the fabric so what are they wearing vibranium <laughs> takes two steps back i know it's the like, fan. like the flash belt. hits with the fan again but this time opens it the fans spin the block the flex that shit triple block ooh, tries ooh. to throw the fan away but he catches it spins it around but look how he weaves and tosses the fan at the same time he knows how it works now though he's not getting called lacking twice a little triple Bro. block right here but the fourth k dude uses that as an opening to throw a breakdance kick they both run in zuko dodges the slash runs back up dodges the fan but popped him in the jaw at the same time then grabs the sleeve with the same leg and oh. forces him to kiss the elbow. Nah, the bro, that's oh. 64 poems. And I know that fan was annoying. He made sure to burn that shit. Then bro <laughs> started talking about some, oh, so you're a fire user. Don't you realize you're surrounded by water? He dashes in, but look at Zuko. Not a hint of fear in his face. Weak ass water. Locked tribe. in. A simple yell evaporated the water and cooked the other dude. And right when he was going to finish him, the writer said, you know what? He's a little too strong. They just patched his build mid box. <laughs> and dude took that opportunity real quick. He said if he going down, he ain't going Not down patched alone. his build. So then he wakes up and realized he flew down here with May. But this show does not give us any breaks. They immediately get ran up on by another demon. But this one, for whatever reason, had a personal grudge against Zuko. He leaps off, pulls out the sword, parry, weave. And who is this dude feeling like with that no look block? You better not get washed acting like this, bro. Zuko blocks the overhead, flips over the slash, clash. And now they playing cat and mouse. Tries throwing a bunch of rocks at him, but that's not going to work. Right as he destroys the boulder, dude comes from the top, bros. But look at the simple one-step dodge, bro. That shit was clean. But we playing dirty around here. He kicks rocks right in his face. Zuko dodged that Pocket bitch, rocks. kicks back up, slides under the blade, smack the sword hard Ooh. as shit right here. Clash. The second kick knocks the sword out of his hand, bro, but he, he wasn't worried now. about grabbing the sword again. Instead, he backhands the shit. It comes back around just in time to block the hit. He then calls in assist, but Zuko blocks all of that. Bro. But then the demon uses the rest of the blast to boost the sword, but Zuko is simply just better. Somehow that didn't phase <laughs> him at all, but no sword means you gotta eat this combo. Uppercut elbow to the jaw, barely blocked that hit, but look at the face. Zuko is locked in, ready to force feed this man a well done elbow. Wow, <laughs> this man's life is flashing before his eyes. Bro can smell every detail in that shirt. But Zuko <laughs> can smell every detail in that shirt. <laughs> it's crazy. Trying to end this world level three. And then he also gets hit with a nerf again. And oh, this God. is when he remembers why this demon has a grudge against him. 10 years ago, Zuko whooped his ass already. Not only that, he was the one who murked his mans and then took his arm. Pure disrespect. And at this point, Zuko is nerfed crazy right now. His own body plot on his downfall. He was about to end it, but luckily May came through and almost blocked all the needles. One of them hit her and now she can't move. Once again, he was about to finish the job, but that's when Lil Bro pulled up, the green flame user. But then the water guy from earlier pulled up, making this a 2v2. 
kind of. He enters I'm the still nerve with ease. <laughs> they both run in trying to jump this man, but he smacks the ear with a firebomb, instantly squares up with the other, easily blocking all them needles. Runs in, jumps over the sweep, grabs the eel, smacks him into his mm. own teammate, dodges the needles, but at the same time, dodges the eel. And do you see the form of this kick right <laughs> here? He would have died if that shit connected. The <laughs> eel grabbed him, but we playing Fruit Ninja out here. Then he gets snuck, but that's expected. He's OP. Grips the neck, stops him in his tracks, but the eel using an electric attack. I don't know. He must have thought he was the only one who can jump. He goes after Zuko, grabs with both legs, oh. twisted him around and socked him. Pinched him up, but Zuko is still nerfed. He's on a cooldown. He was about to get smacked, but Lil Bro came through with another save. They clash elbows, block the kick, leaps over the sweep, and now he's blocking both the hits and the balls at the same time. D no, bro, they set each other. that shit is, looks fucking crazy, bro. Oh, God, I love fight scenes. And... I think this is like Link, uh, Link Click, where it's, um... I already done forgot the name. It's the Chinese animation, though, mm. or whatever. It's not a Japanese anime type, yeah. whatever. Still, fantastic. Bro, the choreography's crazy. <laughs> He's on a cooldown. He was about to get smacked, but Lil Bro came through with another save. Mm. They clash elbows, block the kick, leaps over the sweep, and now he's blocking this, both the hits this, and this, the balls at the crazy. same time. They send each other back, sends the attack over, but he matches it with his own. He jumps through his own fire, pops him like seven <laughs> times oh, oh, oh. the flames right here, oh, oh. but he finally gets hit with like 10 needles. <laughs> And I don't care. This dude is a cheater. May got hit with a singular needle and was put out of commission. This dude gets hit with like 10, then just used a cheat code on his arm and now he's perfectly fine. Bro. I better see his name on the <laughs> patch notes. Anyway, Nerf him to the ground. Supernova, but Lil Bro instantly matched it. And I know the demon was cooked because the attack itself was scared. He realized he wasn't going to win straight up, so he dispersed the ball and threw it straight at Lil Bro. But he said eight trigrams palm rotation. He sent that big ass onion in back at him and it was wraps. That took a lot out of him, but the eel saw this as an opportunity. Banged him against the wall and shit. Did y'all see that? So he started electrocuting Lil Bro, but you know, Zuko is still nerfed. But luckily, Iceman came through and saved the day. I'ma just call him Jet from now on. He then grabs dude. He tries that explosion again, but Jet simply went Ultra Instinct and froze him. And now they show us what caused all this in the first place. Pretty much the Water Tribe picked Jet's sister to do something called a Descending God Assignment, which is pretty much just fighting and she has to go up against Zuko. They seem pretty even at the start until Zuko lost control. Luckily, his mom was there to stop him, but the cost was high. They brought her to the Elder and they determined she doesn't have long to live anymore. But Zuko overheard them mention that the scales of a certain demon can possibly do something, which is why he was trying to rob that demon in the beginning. Oh. And now we fast forward to when they help May. She sees that Zuko is nerfed by a parasite, so she gives him some medicine to temporarily stop the debuffs. Fast forward again to this guy, and we just gonna skip over this first fight. It's really just him bullying some statues. But this, this is where things get interesting. Keep in mind that anything this man does is without his transformation. So the guy on the left, I'm gonna call him Dion, and the dude on the right, that's Choji. But it looks like Dion is up first. Not Dion yeah, and Choji. Block the hit, and you see the size of his hand? If a single hit connects, his head is off his shoulders. Right. Crazy Perry, look at the stance. The foot in the air is insane. Not with the twirling behind Look at the, the hops, though. Ooh. And they clashed a couple times right here, but he was not letting up. Smacked the sword out of his hand, oh. but he kicks it back around, oh. dances with it, then kicks it again. Nah, he's enjoying this way yeah, too yeah. much. <laughs> yeah, Anyways, that's Dion closes mm. back the sword, starts showing off. They clash a couple Wait. times, jumps over the blade. He catches it. Man, give me my shit back. Ducks the punch, <laughs> blocks the follow-up, slices the ankles. Choji spins back around. Air ball. Leaps back in and he can't go fist or fist. Get your weight up. Choji goes back in his big on big violence. He ends the combo with a mean elbow and bro's like, oh, nice move. I'ma need that. And I Damn. just want to watch the family platter he <laughs> served his dude on. Straight bullying. Oh, he leaps off the rock, damn near breaking his own arm. Nah. Matter of fact, patched his man first. What build is this? He should not be able to move the way that he's moving. What stats did he upgrade? Imagine Shaq. <laughs> 
having Kyrie handles. That no. shit is a folktale. It doesn't exist. It Nerf does this man exist. now. So Choji ties in with some chains and instantly calls for backup. So Dion pulls up, activates some power, and that shit barely went through. I mean, he felt it, but now he's just going to activate more cheats. Just melted that man's weapon. Oh. Get off me move garbage popped him in a jaw get your big ass over there oh yeah he wants you first now they just dancing but look at this dumb ass smack his own mans but so we ain't done though oh, oh no. nah. this not even a face grab the nigga grabs your whole torso <laughs> this don't even mean that you lost a fight this means you lost at life nigga you gotta restart anyways he throws him at his own mans comes back down oh. with the most vicious leg drop but he's not done he freezes his arm with whatever that is choji gets drenched with a pound of lava and look how far he was this man was sniping them he <laughs> flies down gave choji a mouthful mm. of dirt yeah buddy you not safe either yeah. This man didn't even <laughs> transform yet, and he put Major Belt to ass. That's when May the Goat pulls up. I told y'all she was like that. Oh, yeah, we jumping now, though. Let the Fire Brothers handle the jumping. Y'all other niggas wasn't doing it correct. And y'all know the rules. We got to sit back and let the OP nigga power up again. Bro turn into a demigod or some shit. Lil Bro goes eight gates, but Zuko is still nerfed. He can't go Super Saiyan. Hold this fireball. Pathetic. Kept the straight oh. face. Don't need to try. But he gonna apply that pressure. Now he somehow stops Big Man. Kicks him back. He gonna tag Zuko in. Block, block, block. Weave. Don't touch me. Two <laughs> He Don't gonna throw the tape. And this nigga must know he being recorded. Any chance he get, he's striking the pose. But you kind of lose the swag when you get clocked by the boulder. But look at the setup. The next time you think about duos, you think about these two. Shoots the blast. Big man ate all of that, though. Caught little bro. Hit him with a stage transition. And he's not letting up. <laughs> not hitting him with straight transition. super broly combo. Zuko going to tag himself back in. Barely dodge a sword. Slip. Slide cancel. Jump over the blade. Rejects all this. And now we in the sky. Ends up kicking his jaw. He going to use the tape. Bring him down here. Sends the crystals off. He going to try to stop it though. Big man going to run through his own shit and pop him. Another <laughs> stage transition. And now it's just straight. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. Nah. so hard his shirt popped off. But Zuko said, bitch, stop stealing moves. Cuts the blade off, stab the titties, but big man going double punch left bro days. Then smack them in the back of his head. But little bro gonna come through. Can't let big bro get done like that. He's gonna parry both of them. Jump off the one hand, block the fire, backstep the rocks. Parry Zuko tries to sweep. Little bro going dodge. Little bro gonna block the four piece when Zuko comes through with the flank. Oh yeah, let's get personal. Clash, slip, reflect, spin move, clash again. <laughs> Took the angles. Oh yeah, little bro said don't think shit is sweet. Ooh. He ain't know we chase down game, but look at this. Little bro gonna Do start an attack and Zuko going boom. We gonna talk about the fact that that dude just dump dodge from like behind. <laughs> he just dodged all that shit. Just whoop. I'm not even gonna look at it. Who cares? I'm cold with it. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Spin move, clash again, <laughs> took the angles. Oh yeah, Lil Bro said don't think shit is sweet. He ain't know we chased hey, down look game, at but look at this. Boo, Lil like, what was that? Start an attack <laughs> and Zuko going boost him over there. But he leaves the tape on his leg so he can slingshot over there. I didn't even catch that the first time. He going to drag <laughs> him back down and never mind. He took oh. the show back. Going to stop them and throw them both back. I don't know. He must hate Lil Bro because he trapped him and him only. Now he's just doing shit. Is this an ultimate? Zuko going to come through though and slice all that up. Bro. He try to send a bigger one and that going to change some. But that was just a perfect opening for Big Man. He was trying to take them mm. both out with that move right here. But here we go again. Bro was always getting nerfed. But he activates Super Saiyan real quick, breaks the crystals, and Lil Bro clocked him. Ooh. But this nigga needs an immediate patch. Nothing phases him. He gonna <laughs> zoom back in with mock speeds and rock Lil Bro. And I know that shit was bad too, because they gave us three different angles. But now I understand why they were hitting Zuko with live patches. This dude is dead ass broken. I thought he hit Super Saiyan God, but then he went Super Saiyan Blue. But then he said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to go UI. I guess he has a mod menu too because he forcefully unnerfed his build. And him breaking that just activated his domain expansion. Divine no, Blitz. Bro. What am I watching? Somehow, Big Man is still kicking though, so he goes for another attack. Stops that shit completely, flew around, and a simple wave of his arm broke everything. 
big man still trying though, but look at the way he blocking that shit. He seen that and said, hell nah. What do I even do? At this point, he's just doing stuff. <laughs> Eviscerated that man with purple and gold flames. And everybody got the exact same face I had. <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> but yeah, bro. Hopefully, we get another season. I can't what name any fuck? other show that got better hands than this. Yeah, yeah bro. I'm convinced that... Uh like I don't even need to know how that story goes. I just want to see the fights. <laughs> I don't. I don't give a shit what happens outside of the fights in that show. <laughs> I'm here for it. I feel very lightheaded right now. I need to see how. It's probably like twelve episodes or some shit. Uh, yeah. Fuck hell, the five elements, bro. We we are checking it out. I don't know when, but but in the near future we are checking it out for sure. <laughs> my god thank you guys for the continued support if you want some more i'm kevin here on the channel let us know which videos you want us to check out of his specifically next and we will see you guys for the next video bye <laughs>